welcome back to the beach. We're out of uh, St. Joseph's, nice Sunday evening. Or oh, I just packed the car, nice chilled evening up to St. Joseph's. A nice local mark to me. So, yeah, on, we've changed to the ragworm now. Nice fresh ragworm, dug yesterday. That's a peelers. Yeah, we're changing over to the summer species now. So, might be a tad early still, but you've got to be in it to win it. There's bass being caught, there's a few ha uh, hound pups being caught. So, yeah, feeling confident. This will be my, third, uh, this will be my fourth video going up on the channel. The last video is at 912 views. It's not loads, but that's near 1k views is a good milestone I think so yeah we're getting there first cast in the water medium sized pulley ragworm baits Let's see what we can put out come on I'll go through my setup as standard. Pen 525 Mag 3, 15 pound line. I believe that's Asso Classic. Fantastic line. It's cheap as well. Go up to Century Compressor WR300. I've just had this rebuilt, and I hope you don't mind me mentioning, but East Coast Rod Builders and Repairs. He, he's done an absolutely fantastic job. It's come up like new. The whipping is absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous done an absolutely fantastic job put reflective tip tape on the top as well absolutely fantastic and I use these rods for my heavy duty fishing so ray fishing uh, fishing up the Bristol Channel and uh, down Wales and that it's an absolutely fantastic rod so yeah he's done a great job with that so massive thank you to that. I hope you don't mind me uh, mentioning him. But yeah, that's my setup. Pretty nice evening to be fair. Nice and mild. Isn't too warm, isn't too cold. But yeah, we're getting there. Fingers crossed, we can pull a few fish out. So there's not much going on really. First cast, come back stripped. So I reckon them crabs are active. There's loads of crab activity down here. Um, it's a kind of, I wouldn't say it's completely rough ground. I'd say it's a bit of mixed ground. Um, the baits, uh, I'm fishing in the baits at the minute, is five or six baits. But um, there's a few different ways you can fish it. You can walk up to the right or walk down to the left. It's um, sort of cool, but yeah, it's all, it's all rough ground with a few patches of clean ground and just loads of bits and pieces really. There's loads of features to try out. It's definitely worth fishing. It's a nice little mark to be fair. And, um, yeah, so I'm not too worried about a lot of bottoms. So I'm just using a pulley panel, as I said, a pulley, and a running up and over just so that lead's up, up in the... Um, water uh, as I'm on the retreat but it should be alright you shouldn't need a lot of bobs yeah, there is the occasional times you get hooked up but you can always manoeuvre it out or worst case lose a set every now and then it ain't too bad I'd much rather lose, lose a set of gear 
and have a chance of a nice fish and fish in a clean beach with basically no chance of a decent fish. So, yeah. Yeah, so on the ragworm, um, this is fresh dug ragworm. It's a fantastic bait. Um, uh, a little tip for um, when I use rag, I'm sure a lot of people would already know this, uh, but I like to dip it in the water before I cast it. So I'll get it baited up, then just dip the rig into the water just to. Um, so just, it, it just basically takes it down and softens it up so as it hits the water on the cast, it, it's not just going to hit the water and explode. To get out with ragworm, I tend to put a bit more extra on than what I want because I know I might lose some of the cast or you just know it's going to, if you're not using an impact shield, it's, it's not going to, um, you might lose a bit on the impact with the water or just yeah so I like a little a little bit extra than what I normally was put on there so this is just this is a fair size rag so I'm just using the one rag this time it's not huge but I don't really use huge baits to be fair I think that, that was perfect for a hound or a bass or anything like that, it's, it's all on personal preference really. So on my pulley rig, I'm basically using a circle hook at the top, I find that an absolutely fantastic hook set up, a two-way bait holder on the bottom, you can see that, and a two-way circle on the top, it's absolutely perfect. always lip hooks in the um, our um, I can't think they're called now I can't, I can't, I can't think they're called but um, yeah so, so this is always a great week for um, a nice light lip hook set up uh, I tend to get, get hooked on the circle uh, and that's an easy get out of the mouth but um, yeah Sometimes you, you, uh, you can't help the deep looking fish, but I suppose that that's fishing and you can just do what you can to get out safely and as least damage as possible, but in the worst case, just can't hook. It shouldn't dissolve. So, yeah. Yeah. So not much going on. It's a bit very quiet. Well, it's not quiet on the crab front. That's going mental. Every one of my uh, bait has come back completely stripped. So I've uh, cut my time in the water down to about 15 minutes. And, um, that's basically what I'm left with. Ain't fantastic. But it is what it is. Um, on cast I've put out, I've uh, put on a bit of squid um, as well as a rag just to uh, wrap the squid up, uh, the rag up in, in some squid so it's um, just a bit hard for the crabs to get through so I've whipped, whipped on a bit of squid so hopefully it lasts a bit longer but my advice to anyone come down here uh, if you wanted to come down fish on the east coast or the south east coast, uh, even if you don't intend to use it, always bring a bit of squid. It is, ab it, it is a absolutely fantastic bait down here, you'll catch absolutely anything. And it's so easy to get hold of as well. There, there ain't one bait shop that doesn't always have it in stock. It's cheap and yeah, it, it will catch literally anything down here. So my advice would be always bring a packet of squid, even if you don't intend to use it, just always have it there as a backup. There, there's bait that I could just use for the rest of my fishing here. It, it really is good. It's absolutely fantastic. Sorry, I, I'm looking at my rod. I think I've got a few bites. Nothing major. Just, just a few little knocks. So, 
hopefully, hopefully it um, turns into something better. But for now, we're just going to stick with the ragged squid cocktail. Go from there. So, I didn't actually pack a lot of squid. Just took a few little baby squid. I did think the, um, the crab at the crabs will be about tonight, so I did bring that as a backup. So always be prepared. That's the fish of a picker in the slope. Always be prepared. Expect the unexpected. Then you'll be alright. Losing the light quite quickly to be fair. So I'll get the uh, lights out in a bit. Hopefully you can see me. Tool now rather than a uh, rather than bait needle. It's the same kind of principle, but it just um, it makes it easier to um, not squid. So just thread in one worm down bait needle, or bait, uh, bait tool, sorry, get I'll get the words mixed up. Uh, I'm not using a huge bit of squid, it's literally just to Basically, basically protect the bait, um, making it nice and longer. But the the main scent I want out there is the ragworm. So I'm, I'm not going to completely mask the rag, even though that wouldn't mask it anyway. But it's just like a protective layer, just to make it last a bit longer. So don't have don't have any elastic. So when I use baiting tools, I like to always keep it on the tool when I'm putting my hooks in. I find it a very good way to keep to keep your bait in a straight line and something to elastic to. So yeah, keep it on the baiting tool. Uh, a lot of the baiting tools actually come with a little hook on them to put your hook in and you can completely bait around your hook which is good but yeah so I was basically I'll hook into the squid that's a harder surface bring that out To a squid. I'm sure, I'm sure everyone's seen this before. I'm boring a lot of people, but if I don't feel this, then there won't be any content. <laughs> Sorry about the light. I've actually, um, I should have put a light on before filming this. Hopefully, it wasn't too bad. First up. And with the circle hook, I'm literally just going to nip that in the top. So what I'll do, I'll pull this off the bait tool now. Someone else has just turned up fishing. Wrap it around the line three times, nip it in the top, bring it back out. Pull the line tight. There you have it. A nice squid and lug wrap. Lovely job, Lee. Uh, I'm casting these out of distance, so streamline. And yeah. First fish of the session. It's a very common dogfish. Sorry, excuse me, dogs. Caught on the short pulley. So I've got a, um, the upload rig is back out there now. So, yeah, 
is what it is. It isn't a amazing catch, but it definitely beats blanking. So yeah, getting back. So I've just changed my bait up again to a crab and squid. Uh, sorry, a crab and rag. Um, so rather than the squid, a nice juicy crab on it as well. So rag and, rag and crab. Hounds, I'm ready for you. Oos, lovely. Get that out in a minute. Dogfish after dogfish. I've kept very busy by the little buggers. But it is what it is. Not, not a bad size that one. I think I'm on about eight dogfish now. So we are on the way to getting dogfished out. Which is fantastic, but I need to catch him. Come on, let's get back. I'm all packed up and we got completely dogged out. Which is easy, isn't it? At least we're catching. But then fingers crossed then summer species turn up soon. Um, yeah, I know the fishing ain't been fantastic, but again, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe people and yeah, let's see some good catches. Come on, see you later.